Wilson Morales from Black from TV. Uh, hello, Natalie. How's it going? Yeah, good. Thank you. How are you? Good. You're in here for season two. Uh, coming in, what did you want to do different from season one in terms of the score? Um, I think I just wanted to um, just go to town on, on like bigger forces. I like I had a huge choir and a bigger orchestra and more unusual soundscapes and different variations with the theme. Um, and I got to do that. So I just, yeah, had so much fun. And weirdly also a lot of creative control because very often I look at the version numbers of cues that got recorded and it was sort of version one or two. So, I mean, that's amazing. Most of the time you have to deal with loads of notes and change things. So to just be able to sort of deliver the first thing that comes into your head is, is, is quite fulfilling. Having worked on season one, did you see what worked and didn't work? Did you want to bring back to season two, whether it's a character's theme or, uh, or setting? You know, sometimes, you know, with each episode, there's got to be a theme that sounds operatic or bombastic or, you know, leads into the following episode. Um, yeah, I think I really wanted to just play around with the Loki theme a bit more, which I did. And I sort of reversed it and taken fragments from it and done an atonal version of it and a funk version of it so yeah I feel like I've really explored the Loki theme and then it was really fun to come up with a new theme for Obi as well um so yeah getting to score a new character was great I've interviewed composers in the past and sometimes if you listen to their music enough times from different projects you'll find a signature strain in there that you know it's dealt you know, when you're mm -hmm. working on a project and you can try to come up with something new, do you, is it much more of a challenge to tell yourself mentally, I've done this, let's go with something else? <laughs> um, yeah, that's an interesting one. I think as a, compose, as a film composer, you have to be a bit of a chameleon. And quite often you're doing what you think suits the project. Like you're not, you're not writing a piece of music for yourself. You're part of a team. And so, I thought I feel like very often my style is a bit schizophrenic depending on what the job is um and I worry that I don't have like a signature sound particularly because I think that like having a having that sort of identity where you hear something and go oh that's Marla or John Williams or whatever <laughs> it is 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 quite useful and um you know Hans Zimmer I I, I mean these these composers that sort of seem to stick around seem to have their own sound signature sound so yeah I'm trying to develop mine <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess hopefully I'm doing a good job of it as I said before you're back here so like is it a little bit more comfortable knowing do you get to see the scenes or do you're given the script to know what you're going to place in there yeah I get given the script to read in advance and then um I, I was you know I see the edits as they're coming along so I'm sort of developing my music alongside all the other departments and um I was lucky enough to have a part in this season I was in a in a little Bavarian umpar band in episode three so it was fun to be on set as well and and be inspired by that <laughs> you know um I, talent can never stop learning. And as you mentioned before, you know, you'd rather be a chameleon where you're doing something different. Having worked on this, coming in from the season one, what did you learn skill set wise as a composer that moving forward helps you out? Like, do you do a more or less of something else? Um, I think just doing season one and knowing that it had been successful and people liked it just gave me the confidence to do season two and be a bit bolder about it mm -hmm. so you have much more of a say now like okay you know they'll work with it because you've done it already and, and it's been appreciated do you read your own fan base and say oh i love the score i think i'd you be know, a bit big-headed if i did mark? that too much <laughs> um <laughs> Well, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe people hate season two, but <laughs> I hope not. Um, but no, I mean, the uh, producer said to me before, he was like, well, your department's the only department that got two Emmy nominations. 
for season one so you know you you can have you can have what you want on on this season so that was that was rather nice I'm sure I feel see you know, there's the huh there's the win congratulations <laughs> you know there's Thank the you. win win or lose the fact that you're being honored and obviously as they mentioned two is great so keep it going let's hope we can get another <laughs> one win or lose <laughs> You're winning already. Take care. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. <laughs>